Pilgrimage, The Book of the People, by Zena Henderson, 1961. Looking at the first collection of The People from 1961, I wanted to give you a bit of background information from Zena Henderson herself. I have a hardcover edition from Nesfa Press of In Gathering, The Complete People's Stories. And in the back of this book, there is a section entitled The People Series by Zena Henderson herself. She wrote this summary of the People series and of her life in 1980 for the anthology The Great Science Fiction Series, edited by Frederick Pohl, Martin H. Greenberg, and Joseph Olander. I'm just going to read a few excerpts from here. By profession, I am a school teacher. My avocation is writing. I have just about taught myself into retirement. Almost all my teaching has been in the first grade, though I have, at one time or another, taught all elementary grades and a little high school. I am a native Arizonian and have lived most of my life in this state. However, I taught for two years in France. During this time, my first book, Pilgrimage, was put together. And I taught a year in Connecticut with my feet almost in Long Island Sound. In Arizona, I've taught at a Japanese relocation camp during World War II and, much later, at a military post, Fort Huachuca. I've taught at a semi-ghost mining town where the kids brought jars of water to school when the water pressure was too low to make it up to the hilltop schoolhouse, and we had to unlock the little houses left over from a much earlier era. That's where I taught high school typing and journalism. We had either four or five high school graduates that year. The first story of the people, Ararat, was published in the magazine of fantasy and science fiction in October 1952. It was the second science fiction story of mine that they had published and the second science fiction story I ever had published. Ararat in 1952 was followed by Gilead in 1954, the first time I had my name on the magazine cover, and Pottage in 1955. Wilderness was published in 1957, Captivity in 1958, and Jordan in 1959. These six stories, tied together by the narrative of Leah, were published by Doubleday as Pilgrimage, the Book of the People, in 1961. When I first started writing Ararat, the people were supposed to be a weird group crossing, by magic, the Atlantic Ocean as refugees from a Transylvania-type country. However, I have difficulty writing about unpleasant people, so my characters got peopler and peopler until I discarded the original idea and developed, instead, the refugees from another world idea. I had trouble naming the first story. I forgot whether it was J. Francis McComas or Anthony Boucher, they were co-editors of the magazine at the time, who suggested Ararat. That was the beginning of a train of thought that resulted in all the people stories. Henderson was born and baptized into the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints. After her marriage to Richard Henderson in 1943, she no longer was a church-going Latter-day Saint. She identified as a Methodist and attended the Catalina United Methodist Church in Tucson. Readers not familiar with the Bible miss many nuances to the people stories. Deluge was the flood after which the ark finally came to rest on Mount Ararat. All the stories in Pilgrimage plus Deluge have themes from the Old Testament and applied to individuals or small groups. Selling a birthright for a mess of pottage. Wandering hopeless years in the wilderness. Seeking healing in the balm of Gilead. Being carried off into an alien captivity. Crossing the river Jordan into the promised land. I think one of the appeals of the people is that they are a possible, forgotten side of the coin that seems always to flip to evil, violence, and cruelty. This is a fix-up novel of sorts. We have a surrounding story about a person named Leah. She is prevented from committing suicide and is brought into the community of the people. Her hosts are having a gathering of the people where they are recording their stories for posterity. These are the stories in this collection. The crossing, their world destroyed. The people, 
looking for a new world. Their ship breaks up in the atmosphere. Tiny lifeboats depart. Some survive the crash landing in the deserts of Arizona. Are they now permanently exiled on this world? Are there other people still surviving in the universe? Will they ever be accepted by the residents of Earth, the people? Most of the stories are about characters who were in the life slips, these lifeboats that ejected from the main spaceship as it was crashing. They have been scattered and hidden among the people of Earth. Their descendants have been taught to hide their powers, psi powers. They're taught that their power, their origins, would be feared. They could be tortured and even killed. Most of the stories are about these exiles finding their way eventually to a community of people in the southwest USA. And the last story is a story of hope, a story of reconnecting with people not of this earth. Her kinder, gentler stories reminded me a bit of The Waltons or Little House on the Prairie, TV shows from the 1970s. Cross that with Firestarter from Stephen King. This creates an interesting composition of psi-powered science fiction and rural communities from the 1940s and 50s. Our protagonists are either teachers or lost children. There is a continuity to her stories, as we see characters from the first few stories become pillars of this community, people who help new people find their way into community. There is a beauty in Henderson's prose as she describes the small communities and the landscape of the Southwest United States. There is a longing to understand yourself and to understand how you fit into the big picture, and there is something special in your psi powers, specific to each person. If you are looking for warm stories of exile and belonging, these stories are for you. No dark apocalypse here, just people finding people and appreciating each other. The framework story of Leah is a story of healing. I give Pilgrimage, the Book of the People, 7.5 out of 10. This video will now be part of a playlist for Zena Henderson. I have two more books of hers to review. Have you read stories by Zena Henderson about the people? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, keep reading.